In Iran, not only is discrimination on the basis of religion or belief as plain as day, but numerous laws have been precisely crafted in order to discriminate, in order to exclude, in order to violate, to impoverish. These laws have actively repressed and oppressed Christian converts, Sunnis, including the Baluch and the Arabs, the Jewish community, Gonabadi Sufis, Sabian Mandians, Zoroastrians, Yarasanis, and others, including the Baha'is. Which is why the Islamic Republic tries to very quietly create a kind of civil death for Baha'is by denying them their property, their education, their opportunities to live a normal life, that we have to keep up the pressure, we have to continue to scrutinize this campaign of persecution. Sustained criticism of religious freedom really can make a difference. And I think even a country like Iran that is less susceptible to external Western pressure, I think it makes a difference when there is sustained criticism, not just on their overall record, but specifically the blatant discrimination and persecution of Baha'is. The persistence of the international actors may also have been underestimated by the Iranian authorities. It includes, of course, Freedom House, Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch, also the Burumand Foundation, the International Panel of Parliamentarians on Freedom of Religion or Belief, and so many of you here and beyond. Collective action and solidarity among faith groups is essential to change the current dynamics of freedom of religion in Iran and the Middle East region. So for many of these authoritarian governments in the region, they may fail in respecting rights. They may fail in delivering essential services, of reflecting the wishes of the people they govern, but they are experts at a divide and rule strategy that is essential to keeping them in power. And so there is tremendous latent power in multi-faith coalitions that demand change for fundamental rights. Initiatives like the Defending Freedom Project is far more than a symbolic act. It has real consequences by bringing international pressure and global condemnation on the oppressive regime in Iran. Highlighting human rights abuses can significantly increase the political and social costs for this murderous regime in Iran associated with arrests, torture, and executions. I know it firsthand what it is like to have someone advocate for you while in prison and the difference that it makes for the prisoner and the families and in pressuring the government to release them. Today, as Iranian people courageously take to the streets to demand a peaceful transition to freedom, the Baha'i committee has been unjustly targeted for reprisals. In the midst of all the incredibly disturbing and upsetting news coming from Iran, the relentless persecution of Baha'is is tragically overshadowed. Today, more than ever, the Baha'i community of Iran needs you, needs your support. Your solidarity and advocacy can make a significant difference in their fight for justice and equality.